knock knock Brooke may I come in oh there you are um hi Brooke um I need to talk to you about something it seems like you've taken baby Kyla's toys and burned them I just wanted to ask why would you do something like that um how did you find out about this well I guess you know the truth you know that I'm I'm very mean. I'm sorry, Leah. I'm sorry that I did this after everything you guys did to me. It's just the way that baby Kyla chose the toys over me and I offered to play with her and she didn't let me play. I just got really upset and angry for getting rejected. I always seem to get rejected. All my life, nobody ever likes me and I'm sorry, Leah. I understand if you want me to pack up and just leave. I won't be mad at you, but again, I'm sorry and I should apologize to poor baby Kyla. I'm gonna get a job and get her all those toys back. I just don't know what got into, him, into me. Sometimes I'm all nice and then if people are mean to me, something evil overcomes me and I just do bad things. I'm really sorry, Leah. I'm sorry for everything I've done. I'm such a horrible person. <laughs> I can't believe this. This list is way too long. Clean all the bedrooms, do the laundry, iron all the clothes, clean the kitchen, go food shopping, clean the horse stables, clean after the dog. What? This list is never ending. I know I was mean to Kyla, but that little girl, she deserved it. I mean, how could you say no to playing with me? This is so unfair. You know what I'm thinking? This family was pretending to be nice. And actually, they only fostered me so I can be their little slave. It's unfair, but you know what? I'm going to do this, and then hopefully Leah and Donnie will think I'm a good girl and get me a good job or some money so I can get away from here. I liked it at first, but now I know they're just so rich and spoiled. All of them. This is not fair. No, I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna talk to Lee and Donnie. I need to be paid for all this work. I'm not gonna waste all day cleaning up after two spoiled brats and not get paid for it. There's too many things I need to get. I need some clothes, I need a new phone, and I need loads of money, maybe to go out and meet some friends or something. Ugh, I better get going and start cleaning. I think I will start with baby Kyla's room. That girl is so messy, it's gonna take me all day to clean her room. Good morning, baby Kyla and baby Kai. I'm just here to clean the room if you don't mind. Oh my goodness, this is all such a mess. It's gonna take me all day to clean this. Mm. Baby Kai, come on, you gotta help me. I don't want to help you. I just want to play with my brand new phone that Mommy and Daddy got me. And I want to eat my cookies and play with my toys. I don't want to do any cleaning. That's not my job, okay? What? You got brand new phones? Oh my gosh, but you're just babies. Surely babies, they don't need phones. Who are you gonna call or text? And mm, But I use this for the internet and I'm on YouTube all the time and I play Roblox and I play Minecraft and I play Fortnite. I do everything on my phone. So unfair. I mean, I'm their child now as well. How come I didn't get a brand new phone and instead I have to slave away and clean all of this mess up for you? Blue, come on. Don't be getting all upset and defensive there. You're being mean again. Myself and Baby Koi, we got these phones because you were the one burning down all my dollies. And I was so upset, so Mommy and Daddy just surprised us. And the only reason you have to do all this cleaning is because you did a really bold thing and burned down my property. Now you have to stay grounded and own up for what you did. And I'm still waiting for my apology. I had those toys and stuff. I was a little baby and I couldn't even walk and you destroyed them and I didn't even get a 
from you. Yeah, Brooke, that was kind of mean. I mean, those toys are pretty awesome, man. You just burnt them out. And you know what we did? We went down and bought you new toys and everything because we were being nice and you were being mean. So I think that you just had to clean up the toys because that's the punishment you got. And then uh, maybe Mammy and Daddy might do something nice for you after that. Well, probably not. I'm not going to apologize to you. You are the one who said no to me. I was being really nice and wanted to play with you because I thought maybe you guys could be my friends. But now I can see you are just some spoiled rich kids who get everything they want and always run to mommy and daddy if they don't like something. Yes, I did burn your toys and guess what, baby Kyla? I really, really, really enjoyed burning them. And maybe next time I'll burn something else. How about maybe, hmm, your brand new phone? Or your little crown full of diamonds? If you keep talking like this to me, or say any other bad things about me to your parents, both of you are gonna pay. Brooke is in the house now, and I am the boss. I am the oldest, so you have to listen to me. You got it? And you know what? I'm not cleaning this mess up. It's not worth my time. Now, both of you, get off your phones and clean up your own mess. And if your mommy and daddy ask you who did it, you tell them it was me. You got it? Yeah, I do got it. We are going to tell them because you're so mean and horrible. So just get out of our room and we'll do everything. You know what? You're not our sister. You're just a big meanie. <laughs> well, whether you like it or not, I'm your foster sister and I'm here to stay for a long, long time. <laughs> get out of our room. Just get out. Get out right now. Donnie, Leah. Hey, bro, Hello. what's going on? How are you doing, guys? I just want you to let you know that I've done all the chores on that list that you gave me. <laughs> oh, that's pretty awesome. Uh, so, uh, well done. You did your punishment. So, I guess uh, you've learned your lesson then, yeah? So, are you saying I'm not grounded anymore? And if so... Yeah, I noticed that Baby Kyle and Baby Kai, they got brand new phones. And I was wondering, because I was working hard all day, if maybe I could get a new phone as well. Well, you know what, Brooke? I think it's just a bit too soon since you burnt all of Baby Kyle's toys. That was pretty bad, and that cost a lot of money to replace all those toys. So I'm afraid we're not going to be able to get you a phone. But if you keep working hard and uh, keep your head down and keep being good, then we'll definitely get you a phone in the future. I mean, they're only babies and they got brand new iPhones. I want a phone as well. I have friends that I need to call and talk to and after all I did all day cleaning up of the horses and everything, it was absolutely disgusting. Yes, bro, 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 no you did that as a punishment. You didn't do it to get a phone, okay? That's going to be different chores to get a phone. And you know what? There's a phone down in the kitchen. If you want to call anybody, you can just use that. 
No, but I wanted the new iPhone so I can go on Instagram and everything. You know what? Forget about it. I'll get my own phone one way or another. I can't believe it. Even after working hard all day, those rich people still don't want to get me a phone. I mean, that $1,000 is probably like 50 cents to them. They're so mean and rude to me. Saying I did that as a punishment? Okay, I get it. I did a bad thing. Get over it. Now I want my phone. And I'm gonna get it anyway. So they're so rich. They're not even gonna notice if a few thousand dollars is gonna go missing. I mean, they probably have millions in that safe that I saw beside Leah's dresser. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wait till they go out for lunch and then I'm gonna sneak into the bedroom and steal some money. And you know what? I'm gonna steal a little bit extra. I'm gonna treat myself maybe for some nails, a new haircut and some new dresses. <laughs> really, really fast. They just sat down for some sandwiches and they think that I'm in my room having a little nap. Now let's see, how much money can we steal? <laughs> Ooh, they have loads of money here. They're never gonna notice I stole just uh, $3,000? That will do me for a new phone and some new clothes. Okay, I better get back to my room and hide all this money under the bed. In case they do notice they're missing and they search everywhere, I'm gonna put them under all those books. 